sense that I could do anything else, so I just kept acting. And I've acted for 40 years. I've starred in four TV movies, four TV series, and made over 50 movies for television. I was called the queen of the TV movies, and I was kind of in demand. I got to play a wildly diverse assortment of characters, and I had a lot of fun doing it. I was in a deep and a horrible second marriage, and work was a great relief from my home life. I got to play a sexy burglar, an Egyptian princess, a concert pianist, an adopted girl, a woman on the lam, a conniving southern belle, a civil war femme fatale, a jilted lover, a breast cancer survivor, a little woman and little women, a district attorney mom, a donor party mom, a lesbian mom, an alcoholic mom, a drug addict mom, an unfaithful mom, a schizophrenic mom, a psychotic mom, a murdering mom twice, an avenging mom three times, and Winnie, a dear, mentally retarded woman who wanted to prove to the world that she was smart enough to write a book. And all these women, no matter who they were or what they had done, they all had more self-esteem than I did. Never in all those years I acted did I ever feel like I'd earned my place, was worthy of the attention I got. There was just a, a disconnect. I didn't feel I could take credit for the body of work that I'd done even when I was nominated for awards. I rode the sad victim train, in earnest unknowing for over a generation. Not surprisingly, alcohol had been fueling me much of the time. Towards the end, I was drinking openly on the job, and I actually thought I cut a pretty rakish and worldly figure as I'd drink out of my paper cup of wine and hand it off to someone and then lurch onto the set. And driving home from the studios late at night with a tumbler of wine between my knees was the only way I could face my life outside of work. I was going home to an unbearable life and alcohol was just the only way I knew to make it through. This consistent drowning of my feelings contributed to my being seemingly impervious to self-reflection. I didn't understand why my life was so miserable. The understanding, the full knowledge that I was living a distortion didn't even come to me until 10 years ago when I was entering, ending my third disastrous marriage and thought I was losing my mind. And I had already been sober 10 years. See, as they say, the road gets narrower. I have less tolerance today for the way the old thinking makes me feel. And I'm quicker to recognize it and take steps to, steps to change it. Sometimes a, just a small prayer to redirect my thinking is enough. And Sometimes I just have to dive into service, try to find someone who will let me do something for them. Today I try to not live in the problem. I live in the solution. I don't live in isolation. I'm in a loving, healthy relationship, and I have solid, sober people around me who are better than green leafy vegetables. And from them I get clarity and answers, which I can then pass on. And now, at 20 years of sobriety, I realized I have been dragged, kicking and screaming, from one moment of sober bliss to another. I am embracing serenity and peace. I'm filling my love with laughter, my, my well with love and laughter and, and generosity of spirit. And I, I don't want to accept anything less. I don't really have that kind of time. I just thank you so much for having me here today. Thanks.